Totally he was the lens. homeless guy. Yeah, he's yeah. the yeah that he's the one who took my anal virginity. He was my client in the homeless shelter. Yeah, this oh is we have to talk God. about this. Yeah. Okay, this what? Un, this is unbelievable. But so he lets me fuck whoever I want. But because he's he's a bum. I mean, what can he do? <laughs> but King Croc, <laughs> oh are you comfortable with having your dick in her body? Wedged up a homeless guy's wedged up against a homeless guy's cock. Now oh, homed, now time. homed homeless man. Now mm. homed. He's homed now. Yeah. He still got two scabies. showers and he yeah. still got some yeah. pubic lice. Yeah. I mean, we can talk about it. You know what I'm saying? But wow, how, wow. How open is this guy? I mean, could you like? I mean, you could bring your friend instead, and we could just see you and your friend. Okay, that's it. And then because the thing about when you have two guys and one girl, the two guys have to get along. They either have to be bi for each other or they at least have to be friends that are really comfortable with each other. I know can't a, be like strange. I know a yeah, great yeah, guy. I know yeah. a great friend of King Crocs. His name is Dino. He's right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and no, uh, no. I think that... <laughs> He's a homie, though. You know, uh, visually, just visually, the the difference in body size. It, it, like, you know, the, the skinny man... The, see, they're both tall, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they have Yeah, big, that has to be a genre of porn, right? Like yeah. skinny big. Skinny big, like, yeah, It's exactly. like young old, <laughs> olders for youngers. Exactly, skinny for skinny bigs. Big. Bigs yeah. for skinnies. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's we great. We can do it. So yeah. you got to tell me, Stella, slash anal princess, the homeless guy story. Yeah. It is so fascinating <laughs> that you fell in love with a guy living in a cardboard box. He was I mean, this guy he was smelled in his like car, okay? shit. Okay, this guy was, had a, car. a cloud of flies circling his head every waking moment. This guy, he was like pig pen from the peanuts. Yeah, was it? Did he even give a shit about like? Did, would he just shit anywhere? Just shit his pants. Okay, well, to answer that question first, yes, he'll shit anywhere, but what? so will I. Oh so my fine. god! But actually, like one of the first times we hung out, he really had to shit, so he got out of his car in a Best Buy parking lot and took like a massive shit. I remember that very well. So it was there for months like after on the too. Cement? Yeah. Oh my god! In the middle of the night. I think this is okay. A, this is yeah. an example of how far confidence will take you in the yep. dating. Oh, confidence world. will take you so far. Yeah. Dude, I mean, you, you nailed can, it. You can shit in a Best Buy parking lot. And then be like, ah, oh, sorry about that. Onward with our date at Olive Garden. Exactly. Right. And now is he, I mean, is, does he have a little cut of the uh, OnlyFans? Yeah, I mean, I take care of him very, very well. Oh, my God. He gives him a can of beans weird. every night. <laughs> because, he, I mean, he took my anal virginity. He changed my life forever. It wow. enlightened me, like a whole new he side gave her of HIV. my life. <laughs> <laughs> if, you guys, my life if, you guys like, if you guys are in a fight, do you just drop him off anywhere? Because, you know, he could just, <laughs> he could survive, he could sleep anywhere, right? <laughs> So that's awesome. That must be nice. Yeah, it's mm. it's pretty dope. It's, wow, yeah, this is an interesting what's story. Name? Drew. Yeah, I'm, fuck you, Drew. Get out of the house. Take your things and go. He grabs a <laughs> stick, <laughs> and puts like a couple quarters and a hanky <laughs> and ties it to the end and walks on out the door. <laughs> that's it. That's no, it. he's got a good nest egg now, now that he's fucked my butt to oh. the point of, you know, building me a business. How much money is Drew made off of this? Well, the problem is that uh, he can't he can't handle money. Like he's immensely ADHD and bipolar, mm -hmm. and so like he just can't handle money. So he just spends whatever he wants on my cards. Like I don't give him cash. I just let him. But he's he's very low maintenance. Like all he needs is food and like a couch and like a heavy bag to hit, and that's it. Okay. He's very cheap you, and anal. He needs butt. He needs that. You probably yeah. shouldn't let him practice combat sports. That might yeah. backfire. He, on he's you. a he's an ex marine because it was a oh, it man. was a yeah it was a veterans shelter that I worked in mm -hmm. here in L A. Mm -hmm. um, so and and veterans love or at least marines love butthole. They do, yeah. but you got to be careful on Fourth of July though because that'll really trigger the PS the PTSD. <laughs> Uh, mm. Would you say you're, are you in love with this man? Yeah, I've been with him three years. Wow. I'm wow, also nice. with other men. I kind of am kind of in love with another man also. So mm. I have a problem with monogamy, Ooh. but he's one of the most special people I've ever met. One of the most genius people I've ever met and also like a sexual demon. So I love that. The homeless guy. Him. Yeah, I, lo I think he's like an absolute genius. You got to tell me how the two of you met in detail. So when I was doing pre-med at UCLA, I was working to prepare for like my med school application at a homeless shelter off Pico just for veterans. And it was like a six month program for just 30 veterans at a time. And they would live there and we'd counsel them to find um, housing, get sober, figure out their finances and everything. And it was a harm reduction shelter too. So they all had to have like either major drug addictions or mental health problems. 
And uh, I worked there for a couple months before he walked in one time and he was like one of the only young guys and he was so hot and he wrote poetry and he was super manic. Wow. And so for like almost six months, I just had crazy sexual tension with him, but I didn't do anything because I loved my job. Wow. But I would literally go home and masturbate to the thought of him like every single night. And so then one day I was just working a late <laughs> shift and he asked if I wanted to hang out after. And I said, yeah, I just, I just couldn't resist anymore. Like I was, ca I, I had to cave. You want to, um, after this, I mean, it's, I know it's not much, but, um, you want to throw rocks at pigeons with me? Well, that's what <laughs> I literally, I, I had an Uber take me down the block to the Seven Eleven, So no one would see me get into his car, uh, like an old Nissan rogue that he lived in. What right. It, like what year was it? 2012 Nissan Rogue. It's oh new. no, no, literally the floor of it. Yeah. But it looks old because one, it's been crashed so many times cause he used to be an alcoholic. And, <laughs> and like two, two, the floor was caked <laughs> in like Fritos and Cheetos. Like the whole floor just caked in it. <laughs> oh, shit. Cause he just lived out of his car. So I just, uh, you incels better be fucking listening to this. Dude. Yeah, I know people hate <laughs> him cause they're like, he doesn't deserve <laughs> this. I mean, you could be a homeless motherfucker and your life could change overnight. Because be he was fucking... so hot and confident. It's that manic confidence and just yeah. sex, sexual energy. So I literally got in his car. He drove like two blocks to a Ralph's parking lot, the one off Pico. And he took my anal virginity like almost within five minutes. Okay, what so the fuck? Leo, yeah. he fucks in parking a lot, so you gotta love this guy. Yeah, who mm. is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> he really is a legend. You guys would love him. What so, does he look like? Hot. No, uh, he's like a southern boy, blonde hair, blue eyes. I'm okay. telling you, man, this Kinda guy big. better have been a hell like of a, a soldier when he was over in Iraq. Yeah. <laughs> if this guy didn't get a medal of honor, I agree with all the haters. He's, he doesn't deserve your ass. Even before me, he's taken like 30 girls' anal virginities. Wow. Yeah, so he's that's like an anal. So that's why like I love anal so much, I think, is because when he took my anal virginity, one, I didn't even expect to have anal that night. I was just on my period, and I just felt his dick go in my butt, and it was euphoric. Like, no pain, nothing. He knows exactly what to do now, to make you love anal. What, what is it about anal that's way better than vaginal well, well, can, sex? Can we back right? up a little bit, Leo? Like, <laughs> we gotta know, right? How, just I mean, he pulls into the Ralph's parking lot. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I gotta, like, do you guys clear out a nest between the Fritos and the Cheetos? Oh, he and, already had, like, a little bed made in the back seat because he like to sleep there. Okay. Okay, so you, you go back, like, hey, you, uh, you know, this conversation's mm -hmm. going great. Yeah. You want to hit the bedroom? Yeah. And two doors open. I mean, we had around. such intense sexual <laughs> chemistry by that point that like I started eating his face and his dick like the moment I got in his car. You oh. started making out with him and sucking his dick. Yeah. And the dick, I imagine, uh, smelled like a can of clams that had been sitting in the sun since Honestly, August. Honestly, I don't know how like I, I was so horny for him. I didn't smell anything, nothing like it was literally the the horniest night of my life. But then I would be in that car the whole next year, like every night eating his ass and, and sucking his dick. And he has foreskin as well. Let me just preface. Wow. And Gross. after uh, after about a year of doing that, I brought him to my bedroom for the first time, like inside a house and had sex with him. And I saw his butthole like in the light and it was so dirty. And I was like, oh my God, I've been eating like shitty butthole for a year and I never yeah. knew it because I was so horny. I just didn't even care. What the fuck? Yeah, it's like when a girl uh, wakes up the morning after and she sees a bag of Arby's on the floor. But girls will do anything Disgusting. if they love you, you know? Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to stop showering, man. Yeah, Danny, <laughs> this is your this. dream. <laughs> is this your dream? <laughs> this is his dream. To be homeless and get my ass eaten? <laughs> no. I like 50% of it. <laughs> Dude, that's that's insane. Uh, so what is it about anal that is so much better? I mean, none of us have really taken it in the ass here, except for yeah. Dino. But have you guys uh, put I it have. in the ass? <laughs> Yeah, you have. Okay. Yeah. So maybe you both could take turns explaining what do you think? What's the what's the the, the allure? Why is it better than vaginal sex for you? Just, I just, I'm sorry, I'm not done. Leo. I know, I know. There's I'm way not, too many questions. There's way go too ahead. many. Just so, go on, whatever you want. I'll answer you anything. Get fucked in the ass the first night. Yeah. I get it. There's a ton of passion. Yeah, you've been fantasizing about this guy, and when you get banged in the ass. The smell isn't so much of a problem. But when mm. the next night, after your next shift at the shelter, yeah. you go back to Ralph's. Basically, yeah. And you spread those cheeks and mm -hmm. you dive in tongue first. Mm -hmm. Is there any texture? Oh, God. Honestly, unless you're like looking at a butthole, you don't really notice much. Like, I don't know if you've ever eaten shit before, but like, Jesus. but if you, if you have, like, and like, if you're not smelling it, you're not tasting it. Mm. So it's really not as bad as it seems. Like in the passion of the moment, 
you don't taste anything. Nothing matters. Never got E. coli or anything? E, no, no E. coli? Uh, I've gotten strep throat like six times. Okay. Strep group B, and group B is, lives in the intestine. So, uh, yeah. I've, yeah. I'm, okay. trying, I'm trying to limit my poop eating. Gotcha. Adventures. <laughs> so, sure, they are over. Sure. How okay. does that yeah. work? Do you show up to the shelter like, Drew, <laughs> this is the sixth time with strep. You think you could shower this month? Maybe? No, I actually <laughs> never got it from him because only some people carry strep group B. But when I started doing porn with other girls, I would like take the butt plug out of their butt on camera and it would have poop on it and I would just put it in my mouth so they wouldn't feel embarrassed. Whoa. And then I yeah. started getting strep from other people because some people people carry it. Tanny, I don't know what's going on. We've done many episodes of the pod, yeah. but two two girls in a row have eaten shit yeah. on this podcast. Oh no, when that. when you do when you do anal stuff and when you do porn, it's like part of the part game. Part of the game. Yeah, it just is. You have uh, to eat the shit? Well, I've I mean done it just happens with her. to you. Well, no, but you're not you're not a girl who like the guy so you take your dick out of a girl's butt and then go put it in another girl's mouth, right? Like you're not having have you, you need to have two it? girls and then you'll give a girl strep. Oh. Well, uh, it's always been my dream to get. Or a you strap. could be the one that's taking the dick in the mouth out of the butt. How about <laughs> Dino's that guy? Uh, the guy. On, I mean, I, what, have you, has he heard of a, like a, a wet wipe? Maybe you should. You yeah. Know? Now he's very clean. Now he's really good at cleaning his butthole. He just had limited access to showers. I get it. So you know, when do you think? When you ate his ass, and maybe even you, Miss, yeah. I'm not smelling it, so I'm not tasting it. Yeah. Was there maybe a time when even you couldn't overlook the amount of shit and odor coming out? <laughs> oh, and you had course. to be like, when was the last shower? And he was like, uh, it's August, February. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, but like, I didn't do, I, I didn't notice anything for literally that first year, like of him, me going to his car every night and fucking him in his car. But once we moved it to like a real bedroom with actual lighting is when I was like, oh, okay, there's points where you have to just go clean it, you know? Mm -hmm. See, King Croc? So I have standards now. I was just in a lustful <laughs> yeah. period of my life. It's just everybody falls you in love with a vagrant at work and has anal sex with them in a car. Exactly. King, King, he's been complaining. Everyone should. I agree. At King least Croc, once. You, King Croc, you have hit on a bunch of homeless women, so maybe Whoa. that's on the table. <laughs> but also, King Croc, all I hear out of your mouth is complaints that... I don't have my own place. I can't. I don't know why I made you sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my own place. I can't be having sex with no women's. Uh, King, now you do have a place, but yeah. you didn't need to. I'd say you're throwing yeah. away your money renting a room right now. You can get all the pussy you want in the back seat. Hmm. It's true. I mean, it's expensive to live in California. It is. And fuck no the joke. system. Like, I respect people that are like, fuck it. I can be happy with no home and no idea where my next meal is coming from. Really? I like, genuinely respect that. It's it's kind of minimalism in yeah, a way. Like, exactly. I respect that. You know what I mean? I do, too. I think mm -hmm. you're just trying to fuck this girl in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have to be homeless to do that. <laughs> ooh, okay, so I'm liking this. Now we can Some move. Sexual energy. Now we can move, yeah. Leo. Yeah, thank you. Into the territory you want. It deserves yeah. a little, like, I think that King Croc should take a picture of his gawk and you should say, hey, honey, I'm about to take this up the ass right now. And he should know that you're about to take King Croc's cock up, up your ass. He should he'd think, be proud. He, he would just be that. like, cool, cool. Yeah, right? he'd be proud. He'd be proud. And uh, this guy can't complain a bitch. Are you kidding me, Leo? I mean, he gets no. anal every day. He lives in a nice house. Like, his whole job is just fucking ass, which is his passion since he was, like, 14 years old. Mm. It's like a dream life. So him. the Marine thing was just his day job. Yeah, that was just a day job for a bit. Someday, I'm going to fuck girls in the ass. Yeah. Professionally. Professionally. Yeah, I mean, how can he complain? <laughs> he lives on a tropical island now. He used to live in a dumpster on Bonnie Bray. Yeah. Dude, he's living the life. <laughs> and then how much, what is this guy's allowance? I mean, in, in, where you're, Costa Rica? Honestly, in Puerto Rico. Puerto, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, you don't need he any money. He has no allowance because he's a very minimal person. Like, he just doesn't need anything. He wears, like, four shirts only. Does he and ever he just wants to fuck ass and play Angry Birds on his phone okay. and, like... Angry out bird. Out he writes poetry. <laughs> Does he ever yeah. revert back to his bum ways? Like, do you ever see him picking up shit and fucking? You got, no, you, but he won't. He doesn't <laughs> brush his teeth a lot. Okay, there we go. That's that's a one of them. Yeah. yeah, one of them. Does he ever? Um, <laughs> Does he ever yell about the Chinese government on street corners? Uh, yeah. No, he, since <laughs> since, <laughs> yeah. since we've been together, he's gone manic three times because okay. he goes manic every like once a year, mm -hmm. and he his mania is to the point of having schizophrenia. And so during those periods, we break up and he goes and lives out literally on a street corner and like rants about the government and then ends up in a psych unit. Called it. Yeah. The and fuck? then I bring him back after like three months when he's 
Yeah. He's and he, now he's on medi- medication for the first so, time in his life. So, so it's helping. He's, what, he's doing better. What a, he tell him to lock it down. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, like, yeah, you can go crazy all you want, but see how fun the real world is, as opposed to living in my mansion where your only exactly. job is to put your cock in my ass every night. Exactly. Wow. I like to give him some hope, you know? Like life's been hard enough. Yeah. Life's hard enough as a bipolar, like manic person. I'm telling you, I say you keep this guy in a cage from now on. Is what what causes his is uh did he have some trauma like um it kind of drugs? runs in his family okay so his he has lots of grandpas that have had schizophrenia and committed suicide which is a lot of times how it happens and of course mm. he's like super ADHD which means he's a genius but also super unstable I'm sure the stint in Iraq probably didn't help too yeah I mean the the actually the worst part about the military is that it turns every man into an alcoholic, mm. so that is mainly what he got. He got alcoholism out of the military. What about the shelling? Does he talk about the shelling? No, he did go to Afghanistan, but he did supply and accounting, so he wasn't like you oh, know pussy. yeah, he wasn't in combat. He was just trying to bang office chicks in the ass he was he yeah. was and fucking we decorated in him for that. yeah. Yeah. That, what? That, that's the yeah. best job. I knew and a guy who got blown up in an Abrams tank. <laughs> that guy, if he, had he survived, I would give that guy the green light to be homeless. The dude who was bringing boxes of printer paper in yeah. and then getting blown by a private named Shelly. Fuck that guy. Yeah. I'm, that guy's not a hero. Well, there were a lot of guys in the homeless shelter that were really hot, like veterans, but they had done combat and they were so fucked up that I was like, okay, I can't play around with that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Danny, you should definitely but, do a deep dive into this guy's life, though. You should do one of those videos, those Danny Mullen. I, I, I swear to God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a documentary about his life. It's I, crazy. You, there's way too much to, to be. There's so much. He like here. actually lived life. You know, most people aren't that interesting. He's really gone around the block a couple times. Can you? Can my girlfriend and I fly out? Yes. To where you are, Puerto Anytime. Rico. Anytime. And I'm telling you, my audience, we do a video on you and your flea bitten boyfriend. Anytime. Every, so, <laughs> so many people will sign up for I the OnlyFans. This is why, like, that's what Drew, every time he would fuck girls' butts, they would be like drunk off tequila. I uh, have probably fed I don't really too. drink or anything. <laughs> so I'm always sober. <laughs> I don't think Drew. Has Drew, has Drew wasn't <laughs> out in Santa Monica, like, oh, so you work at Facebook? All right, I'm going to fuck he you in the ass. I was only homeless yeah. for like, like three days hey, before I met him. What's up? I'm Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna f- that sounds like you don't want to do it. Uh, <laughs> Bend do over, animal? baby. <laughs> yeah, dude, he could probably scrounge up a few bucks, dude. He could just offer it 20 bucks, 20 bucks for anal. You want to fuck me in the ass, baby? That'll be 20 bucks or one hit of crack. And he's like, oh, I got, I got both of those. I that got was, both of those. That was how Drew got it done, pre-Stella. Fuck Drew, dude, huh? <laughs> fuck that guy, dude. Stella. Fuck no, that. He still you... loses his mind. You still have to go to the streets again? Like, what the fuck? No, before me, <laughs> he boo, dated dude. an older woman. She was like 20 years older than him, this hot redhead MILF that was super rich because her ex husband oh. did like sports betting companies online and then was wanted by the government and then put in prison. And she got all the money. And so then she would just travel the world with him for eight years and like have threesomes and do anal. And like, Drew's chick? Yeah, that was his dude. sugar mama. That's your idol. Oh. Yeah, and then God, he went I manic again <laughs> and, <laughs> and drove across the country and became homeless in LA and then met me and now he's my sugar baby. He's going to wow. ditch you yeah. for some chick who works at a Wendy's. Yeah. That's what this guy does. Yeah. Has he could do it. Or, I, I, I support his journey. You know, what I just want to go is he, uh, on his is, journey. Is he doing any drugs? No, anymore? he's sober. He's been sober three years. So he's done a little heroin. The, all the No, he's thing. actually only ever drank alcohol. He's like tried Coke once. He's okay. just like when you're manic, like no drug compares. Mm. Mania is all you need. Doesn't sleep and shit. Well, when he's manic, right. yeah, he won't sleep for days and days. And then he believes he's God and like thinks he can fly and all wow. that stuff. Damn. Mm-hmm. You're fucking when he thinks he can fly. Yeah, and actually that was like the first time he ever made me come by eating my pussy out was when like the the day before he had tried to jump off our balcony because he thought he could fly. And he but when he's so manic, it's like the most painful thing ever, but he is like a sex god. You hear that, kids? It's not about reading it's books. It's fucking amazing. Why is it painful? Go crazy. When he goes manic, it's just like cuz when when you're manic, the people you love the most and the people you're closest to become like the devil and like evil. So there's always a point where and you can't convince them that they're crazy because they just feel really good. You can't be like, no, sorry, like life actually sucks and you're not a god. So you just have to push them out and let them go live their journey for three months and maybe die. Because mania always ends either in jail or dead or in a psych unit. Jesus. Luckily so far it's in a psych unit, but he tries to commit suicide every time he goes manic. So it's Damn. a terribly painful thing, but also makes him really good in bed. Wow. Yeah. 
you um, 